Well, you've been staring at the board now for five minutes. Will you make up your mind and make a move? I just don't want to make a mistake. Well, you made your first mistake when you sat down to play me. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, that's so. <laughs> that's what I like. A nice, quiet evening, a good book, and stimulating conversation in the background. Oh, Adam, did you talk to Roy when you were in town about this coyote problem? I knew I forgot something. I walked right by the sheriff's office and it completely skipped my mind. Well, I'll talk to Roy tomorrow. I'm going into town. Hey, Paul, how come all the ranchers don't get together and offer a bounty on them? Uh, what'd you say, Hoss? I say, offer a bounty on the coyotes. Probably induce a lot of fellas to go in the woods hunting them, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a, that's, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll talk to Roy about it. What's the matter? Looks different. What do you mean it looks different? What can be different? You got, you got the black pieces, I got the red pieces. It's the same thing. Now, come on, make a move. The dead burn board looks different. Now, look, the board is not different. Now, don't try to weasel out. If you want to admit defeat, fine. But otherwise, go on, make a move. Hey. Hey, sounds like hound's baying, don't it? to come by those dogs, Muley. I traded a stranger for him, cousin. <laughs> Worked a real slick trade, too. Traded my whole California gold mine for them there dogs, even. Muley, you traded a whole gold mine for them hounds? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you the truth, it weren't much of a mine. I worked my dang fingers to the bone one whole month and barely made eating money. I wonder why. Hey, uh, cousin Muley, what do you take for them hounds? Well, I just bought him, Cousin Hoss. Muley, I'll give you $50 and my best squirrel rifle for him. Well, Hoss, you're putting a big temptation in me. But... Well? I never had animals like these before, and I think I'd like to keep them. Oh, Muley, uh, of course you'd, you'd like to keep them. And so you should. Uh, mm -hmm. Why don't you... Uh, why don't you keep them overnight in in the barn where it's warm and comfortable. You sure it'd be snug and warm and they couldn't get loose? Oh, it's, it's snug and warm. That's a beautiful barn. 
I need a hand to help me. I mean, get him out there, all. You got a hand. They wake you too. That's right. Is anybody gonna do anything about keeping him quiet? Yeah. I'm gonna do something about keeping him quiet. Well, let's do it. Oh, you hear that? Ain't it beautiful? Yeah. A muley? Cousin Muley. I wonder if you would be so kind as to do us all a favor. Go out there and, and quiet those animals. I'll, I'll go out, bro. Hoss? Well, Hoss don't have to bother who I After all, they are my dogs. I'll go get them, bring no. them in. Muley. There aren't enough beds in the house. Cousin Ben, are you trying to tell me that you want me to sleep in the barn with those hounds? Muley, as their owner, I consider it your responsibility to take care of them. Maybe I didn't make as slick a trade as I thought. He isn't going to sing, is he? Millie! Huh? Keep it down. Kicked off the Ponderosa for sure. You keep that howling up all night. Now, I'll give you one more song, and then it's sleepy time for all of you. I'll be darned if I'm going to spend my whole life just singing lullabies to four bird dogs. Well, they're sitting my hound dogs a lazing around. They're mangy and dirty, but I love my old hound. Now Pop is a character And Pilbert's smelling bad Argo is a scratching Old Blue looks mighty sad Stop that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Dap. Yeah. All right, I love you too. All right, all right. Now sit, sit down. Come on. Be a good dog. That's it. Quiet! Please, everybody, quiet! <laughs> a peep it's time for us all to turn in and sleep oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So that's my idea. I had it last night when little Joe mentioned them hounds chasing animals. Yeah, well, last night we all had peculiar ideas. Yeah, well, just a minute now. Hoss may have something there. Yeah, I don't think it's such a bad idea. At least he'll keep the dogs out in the fresh air. Maybe they'll get tired enough to go to sleep at night. Yeah. What do you think, Billy? I don't know, Cousin Austin. Them's bird dogs. I don't know how they'd take to chasing coyotes. Well, it uh, 
two dollars a coyote, maybe they could be trained. Two dollars? That's what I'm prepared to pay. Yeah, and there's lots of them. I mean, there's lots of them. Mr. Spell's driving them all down from the mountains. Yeah, they're, uh, they're going after the stock at all the ranches. I think all the other ranchers would be prepared to pay that, too, if those dogs were properly trained. Julie, it wouldn't take you no time to make enough money to get back home on. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how them dogs would take to chasing coyotes. Well, I'll help you train them. Okay, partner, let's go. Come on, Flop, Silver, Fargo, and Old Blue. <laughs> Well, I think I'll go to Virginia City and talk to Roy. See if we can get the other ranchers to come in on this bounty idea of horses. That's a dang good idea, horses. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just fixing to go with the Cattlemen's Association, and I'll suggest to them that they put out some of them bounty posters. Well, I'm glad you like the idea. I, I think it's a pretty good one. How's everything out the Ponderosa? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, we, we got our relative visiting. Anybody I know? Well, you remember... Sheriff, could we bother you for a minute? Well, I'll be getting along, Roy. Will you tell Hoss that I'm sure them ranchers will be obliged to him for his ID? I yeah, sure will. Abner, Tracy. Abner, what can I do for you? Tracy here's been wronged. By a passing tall stranger. By a passing stranger? He passed by our house, but he must have sneaked back later and done it. Wait till I get my hands on it. He must know something about animals, because Tracy's dogs never let out a sound. Now, just a minute, Tracy. There's something here I don't understand. How could this... Well, I declare, Sheriff, you are thicker than molasses in winter today. I've been trying to tell you that a, a stranger passed by our house. I saw him go by, and after that, my dogs disappeared. Your dogs? You're dying, right? What you think I was talking about? All four of them. Train dogs, too. She's been training them for six months. She ain't hardly done nothing else, not even cooking. Oh, shut up, Paul. Well, what you gonna do about it? What am I gonna do about it? Well, I thought that I was the sheriff, not the dog catcher. Now, if what you say is right about that tall stranger stealing your dogs, he's long gone by now. But more than likely, those dogs of yours just took off by themselves and are out there somewhere chasing coyotes. Coyotes? Them are bird dogs. Spent me months making them nothing else but best bird dogs in the territory. Don't talk to me about... I'll let the dogs out as soon as you're set, Cousin Hoss. All right, Mila. You ready, Muley? Burn it, Muley. Them dogs don't know nothing about coyotes. Well, then we got to show them. Cousin Hoss, I got an idea. <laughs> uh, uh, this time it'll work, don't you worry. A couple of days we'll have them hounds just turning up their noses at birds, little cousin. Oh, give him a little sniff, hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Amelia, as I understand it, you, you want me to run from here to the house, and the dogs will pick up the scent and then follow me, right? That's the idea, cousin. Yeah, well, you make dang sure they don't mistake me for a real-life coyote and do a little chewing when they get there, you hear? 
Now, don't you worry, old buddy. Why, your cousin Muley be right behind you. Yeah, I sold them dang dogs, and don't you forget it neither, here. Just go. Come on. Get. Thanks a bunch. I'm sorry, cousin, but, but you saw what happened. I opened the barn door and... Yep, I sure did, nimble foot. Hey, where's Slop? Well, we, we made coyote dogs out of them, Cousin Hoss. Yeah, we sure did. That is, if coyotes ever take to wearing pants. Pa, the way I see it, Sheriff Coffee couldn't find a knife and fork of his right in front of him. So you and me got to handle this in our own way. I'm telling you we're going to do this legally. You sure that gun ain't loaded? When I get a hold of that thief, he's gonna be buckshot. Real good. Your mother, rest her soul, she taught you how to cook and take care of the house. But since she's been gone, all you've been doing is, is shooting that gun and training them there dogs. And they've been gone for four days. If we don't get moving, that, that passing tall stranger will be long gone out of the territory. I don't give a dang. All I'm interested in is getting some grub in me. Well, are you gonna cook it or are you not? Oh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, me and you getting faster and faster climbing these trees, too. Well, it was you that wanted to train him for chasing coyotes. Yeah, but I didn't think there was going to be so much climbing involved. Well, let's climb down now. That's enough for one day. You first, cousin. You, uh, you go right ahead, cousin. You own them. And it's so long past their lunchtime. Mine, too. One thing them dogs taught me, and that was come prepared. Got me some chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nearly, nearly that burn you, Butterfingers. Now look what you've done. Confound you, Muley. Cousin Ben, say, did you see any of my hounds go around here? We sure got them chasing them coyotes good, Paul. How many did you get? Two. Yeah, we'd have, we'd have got a bunch more than that, Paul, but they, they kept pointing at them trees. If they hadn't have done that, we'd have got six or seven, wouldn't we, Mute? Well, I guess two's better than none. 
As soon as I get them broken or chasing every bird that comes in sight, why, Hoss and me will clean the ponderosa every thief and coyote you got. Well, I'm sure glad to hear that, because them coyotes have been coming after our stock something fierce and ain't getting any better, that's for sure. Uh, Cousin Ben, um, th this is uh, sort of a cash and carry type of transaction. I mean, two dollars a head for each coyote, huh? Yeah, really, I, I guess it is a uh, cash and carry kind of deal. <laughs> Four dollars. Oh, thank you, Cousin Ben. I, I don't mean to be... Pushy. No, <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, you being so kind. My pa always told me, just carry the cash load yourself and there never will be no argument. Yeah, uh, Muley, huh? Muley. My pa always told me that when two partners work in the same claim that they always split the take at the end of the day. And now, me and you are partners of a sort, ain't we? And it is the end of the day, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> nice to have a pa to guide you, ain't it? Yep. <laughs> Sure he is. Fifty dollars my best squirrel rifle for that whole parcel. <laughs> no sale. Greedy, very greedy. Cousin Hoss, you just became the proud owner of four howling hound dogs. starting to howl. So? So you're the one that can stop them. I don't own them anymore, cousin. Oh, now, Muley. Now, you see, Hoss, when you buy a dog, you also acquire the howl, too. That's right, Hoss. They're your responsibility now. You have just inherited four dogs and a new house, the barn. Hey, Muley. Tell you what I'll do. I'll sell you them hounds back at half price. Pick yourself up a nice little profit. Well, now, since they've been trained for coyotes, I, I wouldn't have no use for them out on the prairie. Uh, you gotta sing to them to quiet them a bit, cousin. Your animals are calling you. I ain't gonna lullaby you. So just start showing a little more respect for your new master. Lay down and go to sleep. Lay down and go to sleep.
A great hate just came into me. <laughs> Beats me, Tracy. Beats me where them dogs could have gone. We've been all over this country, ain't seen hide or hair of them. So I say we ought to leave it up to the sheriff. I'm not quitting, Paul. They couldn't have just up and disappeared without nobody knowing about it. Sure don't figure. We've been out a long time, so I'm hungry. Paul, it just dawned on me. The only place we ain't been is over to the Ponderosa. Now, what would the Cartwrights want with hound dogs? Well, maybe they seen them. I say, let's go home and eat. Go cook it yourself. I'm going over to the Ponderosa. <laughs> Sleep for nights, for nights and nights. I know. Mm. They stopped howling. Mm. Maybe you muley went out and gave us a hand. No. I, I was walking down the hallway. I... They're really snoring in the horse's room. He's sleeping away. It's nothing bothers. Oh, I don't care what's keeping those dogs quiet. Just as long as they stay quiet, I'm going back to bed. <clears throat> well, now that I'm up, I think I'm going to... What was I going to... Oh, I was going to have something to eat. I could have something to eat. You have something for me, too. Okay. Taking a little snooze. So, uh, those dogs wouldn't have gotten in here if you'd fixed that back porch door the way I'd asked you to do it at least a hundred times. I'll, I'll get them out of here, Paul. Hey, Joe, what are you doing down there? <laughs> Joe, you gotta eat chicken. Don't you know we're trying to break them being bird dogs? Well, I'm sorry. We were fresh out of coyote. Go on, you dang hound dogs. Come on. Come on. He ain't getting in the way this time. All right, all right. Hound dogs is sitting and lazing around. They're dirty and mangy, but I love my hounds. La 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 la
any quick moves, dog thief. Dog thief? Tracy. What are you, what are you talking about, anyhow? Hoss, I, I never thought I'd see the day that a Cartwright would stoop to stealing. Tracy, I, I can explain this whole thing if you'll just point that shotgun someplace besides my belly. Talk! Well, the fact is, I, I bought them dogs. I bought them from a, from a fellow that was passing through. I gave him $50 and a squirrel rifle for them. You got the bill of sale? Well, no, I ain't. Ah, pretty slick story. Look, you don't believe me? We'll go in and wake up Paul and he'll t On second thought, better not do that either. But wh what you been doing, my dogs? Well, not a thing, just treat them nice as I know how. As a matter of fact, I've been even sleeping with them, just keep them getting lonesome. Yeah. Are you sure them hounds ain't been harmed? Well, now you don't see no marks on them, do you? Look, Tracy, they're your dogs. You take them. I'll, I'll not argue the point with you. You go right ahead and take them. I'm not convinced yet, but, well, I'll let it ride for now. Yeah. yeah. Come on, you bird dogs. What am I sleeping out here for, anyhow? Still what dogs? I ain't no hound dog thief! Well, you're up there checking the pen, see what those coyotes have been up to. Right. Hey, Hoss. I was telling us how Tracy Ledbetter came, got her hounds, and... Almost blew your britches off with a shotgun. It ain't funny, little Joe. The gal packs a shotgun around like a mad killer. Now, you think Muley really stole those dogs? Oh, yeah, well, he has the look of a canine thief. A what? A hound dog robber. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Thought it did. Where is Mr. Muley? I reckon he's out there in the barn asleep. That figures. Of course, it's a shame we couldn't have kept those dogs long enough to get rid of those coyotes. Not if I had to sleep with them. Howling this bunch of dang hounds I ever did sleep with. Yeah, well, we'll see you boys back late this afternoon. Huh? Yeah, I'm kind of anxious to find out what Muley has to say about where he got those dogs. Well, good morning, cousins. Morning. Sure was nice sleeping without all them hounds. Yeah, I bet it was. Muley, speaking of them hounds... I, I I wait, Cousin Ben, now, you, you don't really believe that, that I'd stoop low enough to steal a man's animals, do you? I mean, I was just out and out slickered by that fella that I met. Muley, now tell me, where did you meet this fella that you met? Well, down the road a piece. Well, we just started talking about dogs and, and gold mines, and, and we just came to trade, natural-like. Now, how did you know that that stranger owned them four dogs? Well, he told me. And, and, and those dogs were so friendly to him, just like they became to me later on. You don't believe me, do you? Well, of course we do. At least as I do. Well, I guess I better gather my things and went. Now, Dad, burn it, Paul. See what you've done. Yeah. You done hurt Muni's feelings. Now, just take it easy now. Horse, do you really believe that some stranger, a stranger, went into the Ledbetter's home, stole four hound dogs, and then went down the road a piece? Met up with Muley and traded him even. Now, do you believe it? Dad, Brent, why are you, you going to go and put it like that for? All right, now. 
Tell me another way to put it. Well, I still don't believe he stole them. and start breakfast. Breakfast? I spent nearly a year making bird dogs out of those miserable hounds. I took them out this morning, Pa. You know, it, it was terrible. Well, now, don't go acting like no hysterical female and tell me what happened. All they want to do is chase coyotes. They won't even look at a bird. Coyote dogs? Yeah. Oh, no. You ain't never going to be able to break them of that. Well, he's not going to get away. It. What are you planning? You go into town and get the sheriff. Then we'll teach that horse Cartwright a lesson. We can't arrest no Cartwrights. Besides, you told me he bought them off of a passing stranger. But Hoss taught him to chase coyotes, and that's the crime. Now, Tracy, let... Go get that sheriff or... or I'll never cook again. Well, all right. But you and that gun stay put right here. Well, Mr. Hoss Cartwright, a little rock salt in the breeches ought to teach you a lesson. Well, sure hate to see you leave like this, Cousin Neely. Well, so do I, little cousin. But I'm sure glad that you believe me about them hounds. You do, don't you? Oh, sure I believe you, Neely, sure. Don't pay no attention to my family. They always got to have things logical and all tied up in a pretty package. Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess they just don't understand about fellas like you and me. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess that's it. Except for this box and that blanket in the barn. I'll get the box for you. Freeze! Don't you dare make a move, because I got a shotgun aimed right at your britches. Tracy, what's the matter now? You, you got your dogs back. Sure, I got them back okay, but you ruined them. Oh, Tracy, I, let me stand up and I can explain that. You just stay frozen. Tracy, you're making a terrible mistake. I come here to blister you, and by gollies, I'm not going to let you sweet talk me out of it. Tracy, don't, don't do nothing drastic. I just want you to know where it came from. <laughs> What's going on? Crazy shotgun back and Tracy Ledbetter's back. Oh, no. You open this door, I'm gonna shoot it open. She will. We better hide. I know you're in here, hoss. You low-down dog spoiler. <laughs> Ma'am. Oh! Oh! Tracy, what you gonna do with her and thing like that to him for? He ain't done nothing. Any cousin of yours is an enemy of mine. Oh, you poke you got me plumb dizzy.
Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And all this time I believed in you. And you was the one that was guilty. You hound dog robber. Ah! Boss, what was all that shooting about? Huh? What happened to you? Oh. Tracy, what are you doing with that horse collar? Leave right? it on her, Paul. Leave it on her. She's dangerous. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's Hoss been doing? What have I been doing? Mr. Cartwright, your son, Hoss, is a dog thief, a, a woman beater, and an animal spoiler. Now, wait a minute, Tracy. If you had a shotgun pointing at your... Hoss, Hoss, I'm ashamed of you, boy. Now, what's the matter with you, Muley? Like I told you, Paul, she's dangerous. She hurt Muley. For a passing tall stranger, you look different somehow. Now as I see you up close. She claims Muley's the one that stole her hounds, all right, Paul. I didn't do no such thing. <laughs> well, Tracy? Oh, well, he is the tall stranger that was passing by our house and shortly after my dogs did disappear. Ma'am, I, I didn't steal your hound dogs. I wouldn't do a thing like that, honest. <laughs> Maybe you didn't. <laughs> I blame it, Tracy. Make up your mind, will you? But you spoiled them. Ah, Tracy, Hoss, Hoss didn't spoil those dogs intentionally. Now, that's, that's right, Tracy. If, if your hounds are spoiled, well, I'm sorry. Well, with all this dang talk, I still got me four no-good, low-down, cow-hunting dogs. Tracy, tell you what. I might consider buying those dogs if the price is right. Hmm, so you want to buy them now? What do you think they, uh, they ought to be worth? Make me an offer. Well, it's kind of difficult to make an offer just like that, Tracy, but, uh, well, I think $15 a dog would be a very fair price, don't you? $15 for good coyote mm -hmm. dogs is a very low price. Maybe I should just keep them and hire them out as hunters. Tracy, you're getting to be a better horse trader than my boys. All right. $2 a head for every coyote you get. Two fifty. Two fifty. Neely, uh, can I talk to you for a minute, private like? Uh, oh, sure, ma'am. <laughs> Why don't you step in my office? <laughs> Howdy, Ben. Oz. Howdy, Roy. What's this I hear about Hoss being a stealer and spoiler of hound dogs? Oh. <laughs> Not anymore, Roy. Not anymore. No, it's, it's all been settled, Mr. Ledbetter. Oh, Tracy's in there in the barn just happy the hunting dog. My daughter's been here? And her and her shotgun both. That gal and her shotgun's gonna be the death of me. Didn't I tell you to stay at home? Cousins, that's the man. That's the stranger that sold me them dogs. You sold my dogs? You're dang right I did. For months, you ain't done nothing but train them dogs and let me go hungry. Dirty dishes so high, I can't see over them. Sheets all tore on account, you ain't changed them, and, and my clothes stand up all alone. I done it, and I done it for self-preservation. Why, you uh, no, wait, 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 wait. A pretty little gal like you shouldn't play with guns. No? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, how about what we talked about in your office? Oh, you got yourself a coyote hunting partner. And I'll stay in the barn at night and keep the dogs quiet. Hey, wait a minute, Muley. I thought me and you was partners. It ain't the same thing, Cousin Hoss. Don't you see? <laughs> yeah, I reckon I do at that. Now, Bennett, it kind of looks like I took me a long horseback ride for nothing, don't it? Well, it's part of the job. Come on. 
Well, I reckon we better move along. Whatever you say, Muley. Because my dogs are... Our dogs are over to the house tied up and they might get loose. <laughs> Julie, I want to apologize for, uh, well, for distrusting you. <laughs> Shucks, cousin Fan. That's all right. Well, sometimes I don't trust myself. <laughs> Here, gal, you drive. Oh, uh, Paul, come on. I'll cook us a dinner tonight you'll never forget. Sag and his feet always drag on the ground. I got me a hound dog, a mud and a cur, and I call him my builder. He's a hound I prefer. He's afraid of a fight, why he won't even bite, but he'll stay up a night. And uh, what was that all about? No, oh, just a happy ending. Yeah, for all of us. No more howling, a good night's sleep, no noise, peaceful. Amen. Yeah. Let's go. You've been staring at the board now for five minutes. Will you make up your mind and make a move? I just don't want to make a mistake. Well, you made your first mistake when you sat down to play me. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, that's so. <laughs> that's what I like. A nice, quiet evening, a good book, and stimulating conversation in the background. Oh, Adam, did you talk to Roy when you were in town about this coyote problem? I knew I forgot something. I walked right by the sheriff's office and it completely skipped my mind. Well, I'll talk to Roy tomorrow. I'm going into town. Hey, Paul, how come all the ranchers don't get together and offer a bounty on them? Uh, what'd you say, Hoss? I say, offer a bounty on the coyotes. I traded a whole gold mine for them hounds? Yeah. Oh, to tell you the truth, it weren't much of a mine. I worked my dang fingers to the bone one whole month and barely made eating money. I wonder why. Hey, uh, Cousin Muley, what do you take for them hounds? Take for them? Well, I just bought them, Cousin Hoss. Muley, I'll give you $50 and my best squirrel rifle for them. Well, that's... You're putting a big temptation in me. But... Well... 
I never had animals like these before, and I think I'd like to keep them. Oh, Muley, uh, of course you'd, you'd like to keep them. So you should. Uh, why don't you, uh, why don't you keep them overnight in, in the barn where it's warm and comfortable? You sure it'd be snug and warm and they couldn't get loose. Oh, it's, it's snug and warm. That's a beautiful barn. I need a hand to help me. I mean, get them out there all. You got a hand. You too. That's right. Is anybody gonna do anything about keeping him quiet? Yeah. I'm gonna do something about keeping him quiet. Well, let's do it. Now, you hear that? Ain't it beautiful? Yeah. Now, Muley? Cousin Muley? I wonder if you'd be so kind as to do us all a favor. Go out there and, and quiet those animals. I'll, I'll go out and break Hoss? Well, <laughs> Hoss don't have to bother who I am. After all, they are my dogs. I'll go get them, bring them in. <laughs> Muley. There aren't enough beds in the house. Cousin Ben, are you trying to tell me that you want me to sleep in the barn with those hounds? As their owner, I consider it your responsibility to take care of them. Maybe I didn't make as slick a trade as I thought. Hey, he isn't going to sing, is he? Millie! Huh? Cousin Muley, great to be back. Cousin Ben. Hello, Ben. Cousin Joe. Oh, hi, Muley. Uh, oh. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, really Come by those dogs, Muley. I traded a stranger for him, cousin. <laughs> Worked a real slick trade, too. Traded my whole California gold mine for them there dogs, even. Muley, you... Probably induce a lot of fellas to go in the woods hunting them, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a... That's, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll talk to Roy about it. You got, you got the black pieces, I got the red pieces. It's the same thing. Now, come on, make a move. The dead burn board looks different. Now, look, the board is not different. Now, don't try to weasel out. If you want to admit defeat, fine. But otherwise, go on, make a move. Hey. Hey, it sounds like hound band, don't it? Hey! Howdy, cousin! 
Nonsense. Cousin, cousin, Newly Jones. Big as life and twice as mean. 